Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome back to Simply Make With Y'all. So today I have an awesome book review that I'm really excited to tell you about. So if you want to continue on hearing what I have to say about this lovely book, go ahead, sit back and relax and continue watching. But before you do, and if you're not already, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because if you love book reviews, I do them quite often. You will see a playlist down below to those book reviews. And also, I'll be going to do a lot of book reviews in the future. So if you're interested in the more and more of awesome books and you want to hear my review, go ahead and subscribe down below and also give this video a like anytime during this video. But other than that, let's get started with this video. <laughs> As you see in the thumbnail and by the title of this video, the book that I'm going to review is called How to Date a Younger Man by the one and only Kendall Ryan. This book is about how unexpected life can be, how unexpected life events can be, and how life might not go as planned as what you think that it will happen. This book shows how love is unexpected and it's, and it's not a preconceived idea that you have conceived in your mind all this time and it shows how love could be right in front of your face and you don't even know it until the right exact time. This book shows how when love is right is right and with the right person you're always going to end up with that person in the end no matter what. So that's what kind of got from this book after reading. And so let me tell you a little bit about this book. So within How to Date a Younger Man, there's obviously the boy character and the woman character that's the main two characters. So the woman character, her name is Lane Anderson, and she is very confident and strong and independent and, you know, has this mentality of she don't need a man to get what she wants, you know, even though we all need that companionship no matter what, she, like, like she does, but she doesn't need that man to get her dream house or her dream job or something like that and she's also very smart and strong-willed and she just her own self and she as well runs her own law firm so she is just that businesswoman and will do what she gotta do to get things done the guy character in this book his name is Griffin he's more of that fun personality and has that wild personality or that spontaneous personality and just that frat boy kind of image but you can tell as you read this book how much he grows within this book but he's fun and quirky but smart and intelligent and also independent so he is in his 20s like later 20s and Lane is in her 30s and the mid 30s and up and so to get a little perspective they're about like 10 years apart Within this book, Lane has a best friend. Her name is Kristen, and she's also another important character in, in this book because Kristen is Griffin's sister. So Griffin is Kristen's younger brother, which also gives a little juicy juice in this book. Also want to mention that Ken Ryan writes perfectly, writes the most amazing like about me section to attract you into reading this book. So I have always have that right here of if any author. But go ahead and read that and stop this video and read that section because those are perfectly wonderful sections to read to really get you into this book. So especially read this side of here. You want to keep reading this book. You don't want to put this book down. I read this in a couple of days. This book it has 24 chapters with an epilogue which I call it 25 chapters because it's another chapter for me. When you read this book, you get to be in Griffin's mind and in Lane's mind, so you get those two point of views. I really love, love, love how Kendall Ryan writes in both head spaces because you get the whole full story when you are allowed as a reader to get perspectives in the girl and the guy's mind. So I really love how we get to be in Lane's and Griffin's head. I really, really love the ending of this book. It was a little unexpected how this book was going to go, and I really love the ending of this book like you have to go and pick this book up and read the ending it's so special it's so cute and I just love love the ending of this book this book is very intriguing and you don't want to keep put this book down you just want to keep reading and you just want to keep knowing more and more about Lane and Griffin and their their whole family together 
with Kristen and just their life all together for Kim Ryan to present us this awesome book after her wonderful big series of the Hot Jock series. This is a great, great, great book. You, if you were attracted to those books, you're going to love this one as well. Griffin and Lane is a great story to read about. Sorry if I haven't mentioned it already. Today, this book, How to Date a Younger Man, is available for you to get today at anywhere you want to get your books. And I 100% recommend you grab this book up and read it yourself because you are going to love it. You need this book so much, so much, I'm telling you. I really hope I haven't really missed anything that I really wanted to tell you, but I really wanted this to be a spoiler-free book review just to encourage you to get this book and show you a little bit of my opinion about this book, my love about this book, because I really want you to pick up this book yourself and read it and to cherish it and love it for you and not hear it from me first. Go ahead and pick this book up yourself and you can see all the wonderfulness that I have read within this book and you can cherish it and love it just as much as I am doing right now. It's definitely a story from Kendra Ryan that you don't want to miss out on so I really really hope you do grab this book up yourself and start reading it today. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you like this review, go down below and give me a like as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go down below and subscribe if you want to. And if you want some more book reviews, you got my playlist down below. Or subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have an awesome book reading day. Bye. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body in Harvard above me. I saw no shadow.